Hello to everybody, my name is Charjan Chuck, and I'm here to cover a little super quick 1.3 guide with Zim here. Now, this video is only going to really cover uh, specials and whatnot. I might make a better and updated guide in the future. I'm not really the best at making guides myself, but I want to get some basic news, some basic whatever out there, some basic tips and tricks to help you with uh, Zim. And you know what? I know the first thing I'm gonna do before I forget, let's talk about Zim's recovery. Boom, you got this girl. Boom, you don't have girl. <laughs> uh, I can't help you with, gir with girlless recovery, it's trash. Slime version, you get more height. <laughs> Slime girl has more health, wrong girl. <laughs> I'm gonna try it here. But you get the point. You slime recovery, you get a little better distance. But what if we were just all the way out here? <laughs> what if we just went from one side of the stage to the other? <laughs> Zim has a little trick called the uh, moose, uh, mini moose boost, or whatever you want to call it up on, on in here. If you slime cancel Zim's Gur recovery, into mini moose, you can get much more distance. Or slime cancel Zim's recovery period, and you'll get much more distance. But if you want to potentially hit someone on the landing, you can get him with the mini moose. But be careful landing on platforms, because that can happen. Boom! I almost hit Tigre right there. So there you go. That's how you can help out Zim in his recovery if you've been wondering. This so one's getting slime cancel normally, distance. Slime cancel in the Mini Moose, even more distance. And a chance to hit someone. But of course, I tried to down air there. You can still hit someone with a regular move um, out of a regular slime cancel, but if you want to send someone upwards, it's gonna be mini moose and you know, Zim wants people above him and all that crap. <laughs> but now, that's recovery out of the way. Let's talk about not go first. Let's talk about Pew Pew. Zim's um projectile, his neutral special, his little bit of everything. I do apologize if audio is not the best of this video. My mic ain't the best people, but hey, we're here to learn. Zim's neutral special pew pew does a good chunk of damage. That's two projectiles, eight damage. Yes, two projectiles. And it is angled downwards, as you can see. I'm just barely getting uh, Tigre's foot right here. I'm like basically at the edge of it, I can't get him like this, but if I jump... Now we have Jellyfish's platform in a way, but... You can jump in with this projectile. It is uh, angled down, so it's perfect for uh, jumping. But do not blast more than twice, because you might be getting stuck in a little bit more in leg than you wanted to. But the thing that comes in clutch about this uh, projectile, Tigre doesn't die, but you know, it's Zim. Everybody dies to Zim. Is if you can get someone off stage like this, like a Tigre for example, you can potentially blast them and mess up their recovery. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another time because CPUs suck, but you get the idea. You can run up, you can blast them like this, and you can mess up someone's recovery with just pew pew alone. Uh oh, my controller does not like to work. But let's say you have Gur out. Well, if you have Gur out, Gur we shoot a projectile straight across. So let's say I have Gur, you know, all the way back here. I don't know if he would be off screen or not in a regular match, but let's say El Tigre is in the middle. I have Gur over here at the ledge for some reason, and Tigre tries to jump in on me. He might get caught by a random laser he wasn't expecting. And that goes for jumping too. So use Gur if he's a little bit far away or behind you for a fact too. Like let's say, you know, I was over here and Gur ended up being behind Tigre. Boom, we could double team him just like that. But speaking of everybody's favorite robot, let's get into him. Gur. Gur will walk when Zim walks, will run when Zim walks, or run when Zim runs. Now, there is a little bit of a desync thing. You can desync her a little bit right there. You saw he took a moment to turn right there. I'm not sure what happened. But so there's, there's some desync stuff with uh, Gur. 
but you knock people around into uh Ger. you knock people around into zoom like, like let's say i don't know <laughs> well also when you send out Ger, yes, it box you might as well cover this <laughs> Gurr's hitbox when you send them out, you could potentially like double bunk some people like that. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, Gurr has a light attack, Gurr has a strong attack when Zim strongs. It's something about uh, Gurr's strong, if you are running on the ground with Gurr, he will move a little bit forward as well. So you could potentially cover a little bit more distance with this. Yeah, I'm using this little rock in the background. He goes about a quarter of the stage or whatever with this. So keep this in mind. If you have Gur on the ground, he will get more distance running with a strong. If he does a light, he stops in place. So keep that in mind. Light, he stops. But strong, he can keep going. Now this might potentially set up some positional uh, stuff. Gur can also jump in strong, and you can fast fall with him too. As soon as I can get my robot boy back, Gur fast falls when you fast fall, and also you have to jump and fast fall with Gur to get him through platforms, as you can see here. He, he can't just duck, and he can't shoot drop too. But Gur can fast fall with his strong or light but you'll probably want to do this with a strong attack because it's a multi-hit and yeah but now let's cover a loose something let's say someone's destroying Gur. You know, let's just say someone's blocking Gur's attacks well how about you just give him a big fat grab Gur comes equipped with his own grab as well so when your pressure's not working with Gur, you can just Grab him and potentially get a good kill off of him with some sport strong or anything of your choice. But let's say, okay, they're getting past my grab or they're not letting me grab them or, you know, they're destroying Gur before I can get to him. What can I do? Just just taunt, bro. <laughs> In the new 1.3 update, when, when Zim taunts, Gur explodes. So that is a very neat uh, option. And depending on the health or how much damage the certain attacks do, you might be able to uh, taunt with Gur mid while he's getting mid attacked and explode him. Like let's say if a Tilt Gray was trying to jab him here, I might just be able to just uh, taunt in the middle of his jab. But allow me to show you a little something um, with um, Gur. I got him over here. This is 51, light attack. Got him to a ledge over here. Put him back to 51. This is a strong attack. Oh, platform interrupted there. <laughs> Problems of being on jellyfish. Strong attack. Sends him off stage here, it's jellyfish. But, you get the idea. But let's see what happens when we talk with Gur. Oh wait, that's a grab. <laughs> well, hey, you know, a grab will send him straight up diable and all that. But let's taunt with Gur. Got caught on the platform though. <laughs> Problems of trying to work with Gur jellyfish. But you know what? It just be like that sometimes. Let's see what happens when there's not a platformer in the way. Generally, a taunt does have the same strength as a strong attack from Gur. Maybe you might be asking yourself, what advantage might this give him? You know, what might it do? But, well, if you taunt with Gur, of course, as you all know, Gur's out cannot use recovery. Well, if you taunt with Gur. You can send him off stage and taunt. And hey, guess what? Even if the taunt misses, you get Gur back in three seconds. So that way, you can get straight back to slime canceling with Zim. So that is the benefit of that is the benefit of taunting off stage with Gur. You get your recovery back. If someone makes it back and hits you 
Well, boom, you can just recover. And hey, you can just say, hey, I missed, but it was a free shot. So that is one way you can get around some stuff with, um, Gur. So once again, you could have shoot him off stage. You could have Gur with a strong or a taunt. <laughs> Mini moves. Zim has so many ways to ledge trap an edge guard. And you know what? Speaking of the traps, ledge traps, let me show you Zim's best option with that. Let me bump up uh, damage here, because Tigri may have a big fat head, but he's small. <laughs> that is uh, Zim's down sh uh, special, Explosion. As we can see here, if you do not slime it, Zim will charge up. Until it gets about as big as his ham. And now he has his giant bomb. Let's look at the hitbox of this bad boy. Yeah, freaking gigantic. If you get a full charge. And hey, what was that? Was that a Z drop I saw? Yes, Zim can Z drop in a new 1.3 update. Unbelievable. But now, <laughs> it has a hitbox too on the way down, the explosion itself. And hey, that just gave me a big fat idea. Well, you saw it in action if CPUs didn't always go high. <laughs> You get the idea. If I drop this, it hit well first, it triggers the explosion if it hits a ledge. But if someone is off stage, the explosion itself has a hitbox. And it sends them, you know, a slight downwards angle like that. So let's go back to that one more time. Lasers, Gur taunting or strong or light attacking, <laughs> mini moves, and now Z drops. Zim has every way to cover everything off stage. Maybe I hit him right there. There we go. Got him. <laughs> you have every way possible to ledge trap, edge guard, everything as Zim. But if you slime, you get to charge much faster. But let's cover some stuff about this new uh, Z drop now with Explosion. When you do a full hop, it will explode. Zim will be hurt by the full hop. If you short hop or drop it as fast as you can, Zim will not get hurt and it will explode on its own. Now Explosion has a 7 second timer. So basically, if you drop it as fast as possible, and here, I did a point blank on him and it didn't explode too. You know, if I don't throw in the face first. So you see Sim is able to get up to some crazy stuff like this, and I love it. But, um, another thing about um, Explosion is that it's now pick up a ball. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I do that a little too high. Now, it is a little finicky if you do an attack on it. Maybe Nair doesn't quite work as best because it's a multi hit and that might get a little finicky. But if you attack, if you grab. I don't know. Sometimes Zim throws stuff up really high. But you get the idea. You can grab it as well. So you can do the attack, you can do a grab, you can catch it. And you can Z-drop all over again. But you might be wondering, hey, Chuck, you have two explosions. Yes. If you use Z-drop right, you can have two out. So, that's a little something fancy. So you can leave one here, have one charged up, and ready. And you can do all kinds of nasty stuff with explosions now. Once again, you could drop in, you could, even if it's not perfect, it has a hitbox on it. This gives us like a little mid-charge, and the longer you charge, the bigger explosion as well. So even if you don't Z-drop right on top of someone, they're bound to get hit by the explosion and take some shield damage or some damage themselves. So there we go. 
you have a lot of ways to use Explosion by your side. But you might be wondering, how can you get some charge with Explosion? Allow me to demonstrate that. Grr. What's this now? I'm running around with Grr. No. <laughs> I got a full charge Explosion. That's right. If you have Grr out, you are able to run around and charge Explosion at the same time. Now, important note, I'm mashing Taunt. If you're doing this, Gur loses the ability to taunt, but he can still grab and do everything else. Still do everything else. Well, he can't. He can't pew pew. So he can't taunt, he can't laser, but he's got all of his strongs and everything. You get the picture. Now, I got this big old ball. And let me show you what a hitbox of this full size thing is like at the ledge. You know. If I had Tigre a little better position, get on the uh, left side. This would have to do. Well, <laughs> Mister, if I'm about mid stage, you get the idea. If I was a little better positioned, you can time it just right for a big old explosion at the ledge here. So I'm waiting for Tigre to come back one more time. And there we go, big explosion. And as you can see, this will easily catch recoveries as well. So that's one tip. If you want to know how to two frame or whatever with Zim, explosion. Or you could <laughs> drop it too, on or off stage for a detonation. But be careful, sometimes if you're at the ledge, it might fall off, so you never know. But you get the idea. This is how you stop people with Zim. If you lose one short mini moose or whatever else you want to throw, just Z drop or get a good throw, get to know your throw distance, time it right. I don't know, have some grr happen, have some grr shenanigans happening as well. I got grr here, I got all my stuff, I got my explosion, I got my bomb ready. There is just <laughs> so much that is going to happen with Gur and Zim setups and everything like that. But I think I've covered just about everything for this. One major note too is that Explosion has massive uh, shield damage, which I will show off in a uh, little match real quick. It has massive uh, shield damage. But of course, I have to show this uh, off and uh, I have to show this off in freaking uh, <laughs> uh, local match because you know <laughs> CPU suck. You can't make them do things. But let's say you know I got a uh, SpongeBob shield in here. Now I have to figure out my shield button. See, okay, there we go. Let's see what a full charge explosion does. That was a shoot break right freaking there. Now imagine, you know, uh, you have Gur. Let's see what it looks like with a regular explosion. Not too much, but you get the idea. If you can get a slightly charged mid charge, that was mid charge and it barely broke right there. But imagine you got Gur who's chipped that way after his shield and everything as well, probably. You are going to have a lot of shield damage as Zim, and they just lowered shields this update too. Now, I don't know if they reduced the shield damage to compensate for Zim as well, but you get the picture. This is going to be your shield break if they do not perfect parry this. It's like so with all your lasers, with all your other projectiles, with Gur, Gur lasers as well. If they do not have a full shield, they are not going to survive you as Zim. And once again, we got this going. <laughs> so let's say, I don't know. But <laughs> you get the picture and everything. I'm terrible at you on it. But you got the picture of it. So yeah, hopefully this taught you a little thing about Zim and all of his little tricks and whatever he can throw out. And yeah. Thank you for watching this, and hey, let me know if there's any tips, tricks, or any things I could have shown down below. I might try to do that in another uh, video or something like that, but yeah, hopefully you learned something. Peace.